All praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Yahkar Kodash. Double honors to the apostle, all those of great millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to Allah Akim doing and pushing this word in honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom, Akim. So, you know, everybody heard the news that that uh, individual there, rap news or whatever, has passed, right? Um, you know, this is why we always tell you individuals that you have to have the fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. And if you don't have the fear of the Lord, then, you know, that's your ass, man, basically, okay? This is not no joke. You know, when we're out there giving people um, water to drink, we're not giving them um, stagnant water. We're not giving them water with flies in it. We're not giving them, um, you know, dead water, as they would say. We're giving them the living water, Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse 13, okay? So you had this individual that was out there, and he was under another mindset. He was under another God. He was God. He was blinded by the gods of this world. Okay, he was going into that um, Nibiru stuff, and you know what I mean. Basically, that Doctor Malachi York shit, which there's no salvation in that. Okay, all of that is, uh, you know, a falsehood, false gods, man. There is no power in that. Okay, but we fear the true and living power, as is written in um, Bell of the Dragon, uh, one and five. Well, starting from the fourth verse, where Daniel told, hey, man, I, I fear the living power. I don't fear idols, things we made with uh, man's hands, okay? So let's get into this real quick. Sirach chapter 19 and verse 18. The fear, of, the fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him, and wisdom obtaineth his love, okay? It also tells you in Sirach, um, I think that's chapter 6. Where it's, um, you know, where if you love this wisdom, you know, and if you love, well, actually, let me just get into it real quick. Instead of trying to quote it and butchering it, <laughs> butchering it, okay. Sirach chapter 6 and verse 37, let thy mind be upon the ordinance of the Lord and meditate continually in his commandments. He shall establish thy heart and mind, la'ab, and give and give, see, and and give the wisdom at their own desire, okay? So you have these individuals over here that don't fear the Lord, and they think that they're going to have some kind of wisdom. You don't have no wisdom at all, man. The, the first step, the first step, man, you got to fear Yahweh Hashem Yom Shai, okay? So going back into this, Sirach chapter 19 and verse 18, the fear of the Lord, let me get into this real quick here the fear of the lord is the first step to be accepted of him and wisdom obtaineth his love the knowledge of the commandments of the lord is the doctrine of life this tells you in baruch chapter 4 and 1 okay step away from it is death okay and they that do the things that please him shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality okay and these individuals don't have that fear of Yehovah Hashem Yahushai, man. No matter how much time we tell you individuals, you guys just look at us and laugh, okay? And take it for a joke, okay? Well, let me get into this uh, scriptures here as well, real quick. Sirach chapter 21 and uh, 11. He that keepeth the law of the Lord getteth understanding thereof. And the perfection of the fear of the Lord is wisdom. And we just read that right there. Okay. It goes both ways. So you had this individual who was laughing, basically not even accepting the sun, but just laughing at, our, at, at, at what we're speaking, the true doctrine. Okay. He that is not wise will not be taught, but there is a wisdom, but there is a wisdom which multiplieth bitterness. And these individuals, they will not be taught, man. They don't have the fear. They, th they think they're right. They think they know what's going on. Okay? They think they know everything. But the Lord said His words are plain unto those that have the understanding. Okay? Um, the knowledge of, uh, continuing, the knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood. And his counsel 
is like a pure fountain of life. Now, when you go into that uh, first beginning of this, it reminded me of this scripture. In John, I'm about to bring it up. The knowledge of a wise man shall abound like a flood. Jo uh, John chapter 7. Where is that? John chapter 7. Let's lock in. Let me get it up here. Oops. 738. Yeah. John chapter uh John chapter 7 and verse uh, 38. He that believeth on me, as the scriptures have said, which we do, okay, we believe that Yahweh Shem Yahushai came in that flesh, okay. But a lot of these individuals out here, they you know, their mind is far beyond <laughs> far beyond God, man. Okay. Anyways, continuing. Out of his belly shall flow rivers of living water. Okay. And Yahweh Shem Yahushai told you what back here. I want to get this real quick. Uh, Jeremiah chapter 17 and verse uh, 13. O Yahweh, the hope of Israel, not the hope of the whole world, all that forsake thee shall be, shall be ashamed, and they that depart from me shall be written shall be written in the earth because they have forsaken Yahweh, the fountain of living waters okay so going back into that scripture here that's what reminded me of that you know um the living waters Yahweh Shem Yahushai man this doctrine Baruch chapter 4 and 1 and we we already read it back in um which we call it uh verse 13 here okay that pure fount that that uh is like a pure fountain of life. Okay, so let's continue into another scripture. Um, verse fourteen: The inner parts of a fool are like a broken vessel. You know, when you have a broken vessel, it can't hold nothing, right? It's broken. It's broken into pieces. Okay, and he will hold no knowledge as long as he liveth it's not funny but you know what i mean this this these individuals that we see over here the vocabians you know the rap newsians okay the uh luwapians you know you know the, the ones who subscribe to being a black hebrew Israelite, all of them idiots okay who actually um join up for that uh foolishness okay we all know they sold out and took the bag Okay, but anyways, yeah, as long as he liveth, he will hold no knowledge, man. So the words that come out of them is with no sense. And it tells you that upper in the scripture here, that, um, yeah, right here, Sirach chapter 21, verse 18, as is a house that is destroyed, so is wisdom to a fool. <laughs> so, you know, you have a house that's boom, down to rubble, he can't use it, he can't use the washroom, he can't do nothing. They can't use this wisdom, okay? And the knowledge of the unwise is as talk without sense, okay? And that's these fools out here, man. That's these idiots. Tell me about this planet's coming back, green men endowed, enlarged body parts, <laughs> okay? Green men, all this foolishness, okay? Leading our people astray. And you think the Lord shall save you? That's why it tells you in Jeremiah chapter 7, starting from the 16th verse. Okay, pray not for these people, man. Um, Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 16. Therefore, pray not for pray not thou for this people, neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me. For I will not hear thee. Seest thou not what they do in the streets of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? The children gather wood, and the father kindled kin and the fathers kindle the fire, and the women knead their dough to make cakes to the Queen of Heaven, and to pour out drink offerings unto other gods, that they might uh, Slakia, that they may provoke me to anger. Do they provoke me to anger? Saith Yahweh, 
do they provoke do they not provoke themselves to the confusion of their own faces okay with shame okay and yes they do pro uh, uh provoke the elbow shim because in baruch chapter four starting from the first uh uh fourth and sixth baruch chapter four and six starting from there tells you that uh they made the sacrifices and provoked Yahweh Hashem Yahushai onto anger, man. Okay, thus in this day they're doing the same damn thing. Lizard gods and David Aki and you know Zachariah Sitchin came out with this shit in the seventies. Okay, and the so-called white woman revamped it, if I'm not mistaken, in the eighties, like the brother was saying there. Okay, it's a shit that that these people just picked up, and that's how the the mindset of um. These wicked Judites are, man. Even Benjamin, too. Okay? They'll find a loophole. Okay? Grab something. All right? Grab a hold of it. Something from the past. Try to revamp it. Try to analyze it as much as they can. So nobody could come at them with different angles. And then afterward, they, they present it as, as, as it's their doctrine. As they made it. You know? And that's what that whole Dr. Malachi... York shit is because you got this idiot talking about he went to Planet Riz. Guess what? Corrupt Polite came with. You can look up videos on this. One of the brothers, uh, I think Shemaya, he, he he did this from on the New York camp. When the elders there, he he uploaded a video about that guy saying he went to Planet Riz, and I know too for myself because I used to be in that stupid uh, Malachi York shit. Okay. And I remember seeing the VHS videos. Back then it was like VHS. And then it became DVD. And uh, Polite, he was on the DVD. But Dr. Malachi York, he was on VHS. Which later on got changed over to DVD. But the point, the fact being, is it, it's on camera. Okay, this guy say he went to Planet Riz. And Polite saying he went to Planet Riz. I'd like to know where this Planet Riz is. Because, you know. Then... Uh, on the other turn, they all turn around and say, black woman is God. You know, all these false doctrines. This is why the Lord's saying, don't pray, don't make, don't pray for them, man. You see what they're doing? Do, do you see what they're doing? Okay. And yes, we see what they're doing. That's why we're not, that's why we're speaking. That's why we're barking. That's why we're calling this into alert. Okay. And all that shame is going to cover your face. Because it tells you knowledge of wickedness is not knowledge at any time, man. You know, though they, they may know something, do you know this truth? Okay. And actually, you know what? Let me um go back to that, actually. I want to get that scripture real quick. And if I can find it. Suck you, it's not yet. Amen. Hey, man. Right there. Sirach chapter 19, verse 22. The knowledge to know, okay, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, neither at any time the counsel of sinners prudence, okay? Because you don't, you don't want to go into a sinner to ask him for counsel. It's foolishness, man. He's going to guide you down the wrong road. And just the same, the knowledge of wickedness is not wisdom, man. And though these two thirds may know a lot of shit, garbage, it's not wisdom. It's not gonna. It's not gonna help you. It's not gonna guide you on to the to the right path that you need, man. Okay. Which is working for Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay, <laughs> straight and plain. Um, Sirach chapter thirty nine and verse twenty four. As his ways are plain unto the holy, so are they stumbling blocks unto the wicked. And when we tell you, well, there's no stupid planet, Nibiru, this, that, it's a stumbling block to you because you can't believe it. You're like, I, I thought, no, you thought wrong, man. That was garbage what you're thinking. That was bullshit, okay? Hogwash. That was a knowledge of wickedness because ultimately what is it doing? It's going against the teachings of Yahweh Shem Yahushai. It's going against the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. It's going against having the fear of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai. Okay? And it's going on to doctrine of men. Lying ass men. 
Does it tell you um Numbers chapter twenty three and nineteen that God is not a lie God is not a man that he should lie? If I'm not mistaken, Numbers chapter twenty three and verse nineteen. As a matter of fact, you know me, I wanna fact check that real quick. Okay. And hey, that's a, that's part of the fear. Okay. Right here. God is not a man that he should lie, neither is son a man that he should repent. Have he have he said and shall he not do it? Or have he spoken and shall he not make it good? Where the fuck is Nibiru and all these guys making it good? They're not making it good. They're setting our people. Hey, scripture tell you that many wicked men. Let me see if I can find that scripture, Jeremiah. Six. No. Hey, I'll just do this. Nope. I always notice that with this, uh, you never, um, Wicked men. Let me see. It should pop up here. So I know it's in. Um, it has to be in Jeremiah. I'm just um, at a loss for what scripture is at. Yep, five and twenty-six. Yep. From all my people are found wicked men. Oh, up Salakia. All praise is all honor and glory be unto Yahweh. Bashim Yahushai. Bashim Rakah Kodash. Tawada 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 Yahushai. Um, Jeremiah five and twenty-six. From among my people are found wicked men. They lay wait as he that set his snares. They set a trap. They catch men. And yes, they catch men with that foolish ass doctrine. That bullshit shit. Like the brother said, the more weird the doctrine, the more people come in, man. And the most of our people found wicked men. Putting all them traps there. You know? Doing that wickedness, man. Setting up those uh, uh, idols and all this falsehood. And this is why these guys got judged like that. Okay, and into regards to what the guy was saying, he was saying, "Oh, there was a brother in GMS that had died." Just remember, there's people who die in the truth. Okay. Remember what it said about Abraham waiting to see all the prophets waiting to see those things in this time that's about to pop off. What they were wicked men too. Okay. What about the disciples? Like the brother was saying, what about the disciples being put to death? They were wicked. You know. These people have, and it's no sense to argue with the rock, okay? The rock, has, <laughs> the rock can't help but be the rock, okay? So we know at this point in in in, the, in this point in time, we ain't got no time to fucking argue with you guys. The the old slogan, "Get down or lay down," man, and that's coming from Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, not us. We ain't no fucking gangsters, you know what I'm saying? We ain't no fucking gangsters. Okay, so either get down or lay down, man. And that's coming from Yahweh Shem Yahushai. Simple and plain. It's telling you in the scriptures. Baruch 4 and 1. Step away from it. See, see what you're going to catch. Okay. But anyways, and the brother wasn't a wicked man in the truth. He just died in the truth. Okay. He died doing this. Uh, what does the scripture say? Strive for the truth unto death. And the Lord shall fight for thee. I'd rather go out doing this work than not be, uh, let me put it like this way, or rather in my life, okay, okay, through the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai to do this work, as Matthew chapter um, 24 and 13 says, okay, then to be some wicked ass nigga living in the world doing some fucking dumb shit and be caught off guard, as they would say with your, with your skirt up, girl, you know what I'm saying? Or, uh, nigga, you got caught with your pants down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? No. Why you know this, to, know this to be the truth and then step away from it to get judged and be a part with it? Fuck that. I don't want to be part with those two thirds. They have no understanding. That's why that stupid ass individual left that comment on the comment board. Okay? Because they have no understanding. And once again, like the brother said, we ain't got no time to be arguing with, with, with feathers and rocks. And stones and pebbles, 
Okay, because that's where their understanding is. Is as that. Okay. So, hey, man. Let me, let me uh, continue here. For the good are good things created from the beginning. So evil things for sinners. Okay. So, hey, you you individuals out there, you know, you, you want to make fun of the men of the Lord. Every idle word. Okay. Like we said, you know, a brother passes away in the truth. You know, what does this tell you now? Uh, First Corinthians, or First Thessalonians, chapter four, starting from the sixteenth verse, if I'm not mistaken. Okay, so we know, hey, we put our faith and trust into Yahweh Shem Yahushai, not green men and Nibiru and all this bullshit. You know, all these uh, uh oh JC, all of that crap. We don't put our trust into that. We put our trust into Yahweh. Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakudash, man. As the scriptures say, blessed is the man that trusteth in Yahweh Bahashem Yahushai, and cursed be the man that trusteth in man, basically. Okay, rough and phrasing. So with that, all praises, all honor, all glory be unto Yahweh, Bahashem Yahushai, Bahashem Rakakudash. Double honors to the apostle elders of Great Millstone that rule well, and peace and salutation to Allah Akim Duna pushing his word, and all honesty, truth, and sincerity. Shalom, I hope you're edified. What about the ball?